11 years since she scored twice against Brisbane Roar in a 3-2 defeat to an Ange Postecoglou team. He was the one that was tasked um, by your federation about changing the era and you and a number of guys didn't get selected anymore for the national team. Um, from what you understand of him now, what brought you two together again? What, what, what made him say, that fella? Well, you, you, I don't know. I mean, look, I suppose we go back to the, the Australian thing and when he took over, I mean, again, the one thing with the manager, he'll tell you to your face. Mm. And I love that. Whether you're a player for him or you're playing not for him, doesn't matter. As long as, you, long as the manager will tell you to your face, you're happy. Right? You might be happy with the outcome, but you think, fair enough, at least he's told me. And his words need to stand the test of time. They yeah. don't need to blow away in the no, wind. No, they don't need to blow away. And yeah. I remember we, we went for a coffee in Melbourne and it was well short and sharp because he really got to the point. <laughs> you know, I'm not selecting you for the Australian team. You know, he gave me his reasons. And, you know, I was, like, I was gutted. There's no question about yeah. it. But I just thought, okay, fine. And I didn't really want to stay there much longer and I think no. he didn't. So we kind of left at that and I thought, okay, well, maybe that was... Maybe that was it, you know, and, and, and you know, I shook his hand, said thank you, congratulate you, you know, good luck with everything. And I think he'd done a, an exceptional job with the Australian team. And I think he's worked hard to get to where he's got to, mm -hmm. you know, because he's, his path's been up and down, uh, but recently it's been a lot of ups. Um, and then uh, when he first came in here, uh, he, he came in to have a look at what was happening. And then uh, I had originally just got the Barnet job. Uh, and I was working down there, and then obviously um, things happened there. And then in the summertime, I was talking to a club, uh, and then let's just say I, I was talking to the club on Monday, then I received a, a, a text message off the manager, and I was taken back of what he said. It was just one of the nicest messages uh, that I've ever read from a manager to, uh, to a, a wow. young coach. Okay. And I remember showing my wife, and my wife was looking, she said, well, what I said, well, there's nothing like, you know. I said, I'm going to ring him. So I rang him and he, he spoke to me. He, he told me that he would love for me to, to join up. Um, he, he knows the difficulties that I've been through. He's kept an eye on me. Didn't know that. So he had, he had known what I'd been up to. He knows what I'd like, what I didn't like. And he just said, I think this would be a good environment for you to come in and, and see, to work with a great team. Um, to be able to get back to where you belong. And I was blown away. I didn't know. I was like, okay, um, yeah. And I remember just, I'll, I'll get back to you, right? Like literally, I'll get back to you in a couple of days. And he goes, yeah, yeah, no problem. Take time, da, 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 da. And it's left, okay, okay. And I said to my wife, I said, it was like, it's nothing like, right, I'm taking this job because yeah. the way he spoke was yeah. enough for me to say, yeah, I, I just didn't want to, Make him sound too eager, you know. I just had to make mm. him wait a little bit, but mm. I was ready to say yes then straight away. And then I remember going through everything, and everything was sorted. And I just wanted to come up here and again be part of a a winning team, but the 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 winning mentality, you know, of of what he is. And I've heard a lot of stories about the manager, but they're stories, and it's nice to get your own picture, yeah. your own ideas. And yeah, he's this. I I think personally, there's two sides to him. One is the, the manager, he's very strict, very, you know, he, he likes the way things are run and he, he's very um, intense with the way he wants and I like that. Mm -hmm. And I felt that coming in here, it's going to take me a couple of weeks to learn, you yeah, know, his right. ideas yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Within two days I understood it because that's how clear his messages are. Hmm. You know, they're not, there's no black or white, it's just Great, just just straight. There's no 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 need. So there's just it's just yeah. black. Let's just say it's just black. That's that's the way we're yeah. playing. That's how it is. This is what I want. And I was like, oh, this is pretty easy, like like coming into it. But then there's the other side of him, where he's like a father. You know, he's he's got that that personality to joke around, and very rarely, you know what I mean. Because like I said, but when you do catch him on them times, he's he's just a generally a nice person to talk to, and they're the people that you want to work for. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as he's intense as a manager and all that. He's genuinely a good human being, and they're the ones that you want to work for. In football, is that slightly rare? Uh, I, uh, for me, like I said, I've only been a, a manager. This is the first time I've been a coach. So I've working for managers is different, I suppose, because then you yeah. work for someone, so you've got to try and figure out what they're like. Yeah. 
So again, this is the first time that again. But like I said, he's generally he's a nice person. But first I, and foremost, my point is football. I'm, I'm really, I'm really asking more of a question about football because it's rare. And in all my interviews, which go beyond this, I've been doing this for thirty years. You don't often hear somebody say he's genuinely a good person. In in a good, often you'll say that with somebody who's been treated badly by the game. The game teaches you to be. Duplicitous yeah, yeah. to survive. I, I yeah, think yeah. I'm oh, not putting yeah. words in your mouth. It's a brutal, nasty industry. Yeah. As much as we love it, it's rare to yeah. hear somebody say that and about somebody successful. In my opinion, I I think that comes again from from him wanting to help. Like I said, he's confident enough in his ability mm. that he's sitting there. Well, I can help. Mm. I think it's when people are maybe not confident enough. They want to kind of hey, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I want Definitely. to protect this. I want to protect Definitely. that.